Yeah, we had a final four. Y'all been riding the wave of love for quite a while now. We are not done yet. You'll be introducing your connections to your family. Okay? Family members approve can make or break a relationship. The last time I introduced anyone to my family members is my ex-husband, and that was when I was 20 years old. We're gonna meet back here one more time, and we're gonna figure out who is it that you feel just isn't ready to love? Today, I invited Justin to meet my dad. Hey, hey daddy. My dad could give me some insight whether I move forward with Justin or not. You ready to get your son-in-law? You better be the right kind of son-in-law. I really don't bring people around my family unless I know that it's serious. I haven't met a dad in years. How many girlfriends we got? <laughs> I don't got no girlfriends, man. I'm talking about 100%. Pretty guys, they play too much. I can't stand it. If I was reading the room, I felt like he was like, uh, I don't know about this guy. What your intentions with my daughter? And it ain't no joke. I've been doing the single thing four or five years now. If we decided to like go forward and be in a relationship, like my only concern would be just like the whole transition from like you being single for so long to like you entering my life. I have two kids and you know. Yeah. If we rush it, you miss red flags. Right now we had a good pay. Yeah. What do you think about my daughter? The women out here in Dallas, you run across party girls. The fact that I'm introverted, I think a lot. Like, I get in my head a lot, and so she kind of like, let me know, like reassure me. She's really thoughtful. I just want you to know, they my girls too. Yes, sir. They all I got. As long as you good to my babies, I don't have no problem with you. Yes, sir. Maybe I can go fishing one day. <laughs> Seen him for so long like that, it might still be just a wolf inside. But what if he's just like a little older and it's like. Well, that's true. You know, you just have to have patience with him. My dad thinks that Justin is a cool guy. My only thing is, he's been single for a while, so I would have to see the transition from the single Justin to the relationship Justin. I don't like, want your feeling to be hurt. Yeah. So I'm going to be upset. My sister Gwen was so kind as to fly in to meet Chaz. The way that Chaz is handling his connection seems a little bit generic. But I wanted to have another chance to work through issues with him. My sister, she wants the very best for me, so I'm curious as to what she thinks about him. Hopefully her sister can shed some light and more insight into Vanessa. What is your social life like? I don't really go out, have a dog. He has a dog. We've had conversations. Huh. I don't like animals in general. I mean, like, not like I hate animals, but I'm just not. I take care of my kids, and that's all I can handle. What is your dating life like? I haven't really seriously been dating the last three years since my last major relationship. How many other women have piqued your interest? I've had a connection with 10 of the 11. Whoop, whoop. Do you know that there were only 10 women in the process? No, there was, there was 11. I can't keep track of all of these women. Like, damn. Where does that leave your feelings towards Vanessa now? I feel very deeply for Vanessa. What does very deeply mean? It means a lot of different things. I think I'm in a space where I would prefer to be loved out loud. I want to be... I knew that I was treating her differently than some of, some of the other connections. On the second day of the trip, did you text everyone, good morning, beautiful? 
Yeah, I had. Okay. Except for except for one I just of wanna, the five. Okay, let's. It's not that I don't realize he has other connections. I'm just re I'm just trying to figure out where you I stand. Fit in. If it's gotten to the point where it's just you, why is it Vanessa your only person now? We are. Like she's my only person now. Well, there's another connection, but it's a new connection. That was overwhelming to me too, because I was expecting to go from three connections He's to two to one. He's saying overwhelming, like he got stuck in a tornado of connections. But, you but, pursued the connection. Now, see, you, you're a very, very, very smart man. So what's, what's your angle? We have to let the process play out, right? So if you're truly there for love, you want to make sure you've spoken to all of your connections. But what's not fair is not being clear and concise about your communication. And if you have a deep connection with Vanessa, then you give Vanessa what Vanessa needs. She's worth it. Yeah, she is. That was pretty good, right? I just don't feel like he's stuck on you in the way that you're stuck on him. I get a manipulative vibe, like he's all in but he may want all the women to think that he's all in. I'm feeling that too. She mentions him being manipulative and I agree. Today, I'm gonna introduce Alonzo to my brother. Me and Alonzo have been hitting it off since day one. Grab a seat. How's it going, How's it going? This is my brother. Yeah. Alonzo, come on. But my connection with Chaz is growing stronger and stronger. I'm a Muay Thai fighter and I do MMA as well. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Fighter. When I found out that I'm gonna meet Patricia's mother and brother, I was very happy about that, but it also makes me nervous. This is my firstborn, and this is my only girl. Uh huh. So I have some concerns okay. about anybody that comes into her life. Do you see my sister more in dating or yes, she's trying to like long term, so like marriage and whatnot? <laughs> Definitely long term. So that's it. the next date, let's go to the courtroom. Let's... So you'll get like a maybe like an apartment first or like a house? I'm gonna go with the flow type of person, mm -hmm. but let's get a house and let's just see what it's like. You wanna try it? You know you're being goofy. Yeah, like, finance is very serious. Absolutely, serious absolutely. Business. If you're too playful, someone is eventually gonna get tired. Would you consider yourself wealthy? Um, yeah. How did you come about getting that wealth? She um, wants to know if you're a drug dealer. No. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Wrong guy. Wrong guy. <laughs> I made a lot of sacrifices and hard decisions. Say, like, you two are married. What are you going to be doing in a sense to, like, keep her? I focus on my woman. So, like, I try to understand, like, how to best support and help her. So we could truly be a power couple together. Do you have any other connection with any other people? Not as strong as this. There's another woman um, that I have a connection with also. How does this connection stick out? We went to a lake house mm. and it just got like a little overwhelming for me. What you have observed with her dating, what would you think was a red flag? It's really none. Emmanuel's feelings towards me, I feel like it's a strong 90. What do you think? He's cool, but it's like, if somebody hit responses, I was like, mm, I kind of sound like that, and I was like, I should be better. He likes to go with the flow. There ain't no going with the flow no more. We need a plan. Yeah. What was your childhood like? My parents were married for 47 years. They had four boys. I'm cool. the second oldest. 
Are you closer with your brothers? Not entirely. I'm really closer with my friends than my brothers. I don't know if y'all have issues or anything. No, we just moved and like created our own lives. Me and my brothers, we're like this, so. Oh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you, you both, for like the very deep, profound questions. He's intelligent and respectful. I think so. But the family thing, kind of like. The family thing, okay. He said they weren't closed. Other than that, the answer to the question is pretty good. One thing I like, he's actually prepared himself for a wife. I want to be a wife. I don't want to be a girlfriend. The pros for Alonzo is the fun that he brings, the happiness that he brings. So I think they'll really honestly be okay with either connection. He's so attractive. He's so your intelligent. Type. He looks and... like my dad. I invited Laron out to meet my mom, and I am a little nervous. Laron and I recently met up at a club. A guy that I know came up and spoke to me. Laron was so angry, calling me this kind of B, this and that F you. At this point, I definitely have some huge concerns with Laron. Hey, mom, what's up? So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it today. Really? Are you okay? Yeah, I just I have a bunch of things I have to do. I'm not going to be able to make it. I'll let him know, but we'll definitely have to reschedule. Yeah. Wow. I was supposed to have my mom come today, but she said we got to reschedule. Oh, last, man. Last minute, yeah, I know. Until I'll be there for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Outside the process, things went kind of left, and to not meet her mom, I'm starting to put the dots together like I can see where this is going. I guess I could ask some of the questions she would probably ask, like, um, you feel like you've been possessive already? <laughs> <laughs> and it's all downhill from here. My mouth is kind of crazy when mm -hmm. I get mad. <laughs> yeah, real crazy. I do have a little concern with dating guys that, you know, get angry quick. How are you when you drink? Like, you think that's something you get? Uh, I don't think I get. I don't think I get angry quick. You I don't? think when I'm placed in certain situations, I may or may not can control. You don't want it to start affecting other people you like and love. Why does my identity call her a bitch? <laughs> because I did. <laughs> and I said, F this situation, because she was hugged up with some dude. You're not going to embarrass me like that. I'm not going to be no simp. What you think, like, going forward? Look, I'm not perfect. For sure. And. I will not get to that point anymore. I hope that this date provided her clarity and just show her that I'm really there for her, man. I, I really want to be with her. Just because you apologize does not mean we're past it. You may be past it, but I still have things that are concerning to me. I'm not gonna nag, because we grown. And the second time, it's like, this is it, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. if you give me a chance, we will see. You want to text mine? May I put my lips on it? <laughs> you want me to put my mouth on the straw? <laughs> What's the plan here going forward? Let me tell you what your dad said. I get your introvert. I am too. We should not be going like four to six hours without speaking. Are you a clean person? <laughs> Are you? Yeah, so childish. I'm asking. If I want to talk to you, if I want to spend time, I don't think that's clean. Now, if I say I want to live in your skin, that's clean. If you was to go two to three hours without texting me, I'm not over here like, I wonder who she talking to.
I want you to be able to like enjoy it. Whatever free time you want to enjoy, same with me. I do require a healthy amount of space. Six to eight months in, I know your expectations. You're not gonna wanna go a whole day without speaking to me. So I'm not gonna let it happen. Like, and I'm what? not trying to rush you. I feel like we're gonna continue to get closer because we actually communicate. And I don't see something like that just ending. I don't want to say that I love him, but like, I like, like him more than I like him, if you know what I mean. How's work been? Uh, it's been a little hectic. What about you? My work is not very demanding. What if I hollered at you at work? What would that look like? I would have passed you a note. I would have passed you a note back. What does she think? Uh, she liked you. She said you were interesting, and she said that you were too smart for the simplicity, that it, it seems manipulative. I'm manipulative? She said it seems that way. I don't know what to make of that. Manipulative? That's something that I'm not. How can intelligence equate to manipulation? I wonder if you truly feel how you express that you feel about me. Even my sister warned that she doesn't feel like it's to the level that I care for you. You feel more deeply for me than I feel for you? Yeah. That's bull Honestly, I don't know if I believe it. You duplicating this experience. It just takes from... But I haven't. I may have bought a bouquet, but I've gotten you two. I may have bought some gifts, but I mean... Yours is in gold. Like, when I walk into your temple, I worship you. You see it. I do see the effort. That seems like a dot, dot, dot. Do you remember when you told me I wasn't the type of woman to end with a period? <laughs> no, you're not. You know, dance. Okay. Most of the conflict comes when we bring it into a public space, but the time that Chaz and I spend one-on-one -on -one is never an issue. I feel good with you, actually. I really like you. Vanessa's asking me to give more reassurance that she's my top connection. And it's like bittersweet because I haven't made up my mind yet. On this date, I wanted to ask Alonzo, what is his plans with me? I want to test him on country line dancing. So you put all of this together here? Well, you know, I know that you're such a great dancer. I know you told me to put on my cowboy wear, so you like I'm a looking good, okay? Good all Texas right. cowboy. Chaz was going through his thing. You know, you was there to check on him. And then I was like, dang, I mean, where do I stand with this? I felt left out, like I was just like I get chopped it. liver. I don't want you to feel that way. I saw a grown man cry, mm -hmm. and it's just a part of me to, to be a comforter. Had you been in that situation at the time, I would have did the same thing for you. What's really important to me is a man who prepares himself for a wife. What are some other things that you are willing to do? If you're ready to storm off, am I going to let my a-hole side kick in and just be like, bye? Or am I actually going to get to the bottom of it? Every now and then, I, I like to throw a little tantrum. I want the attention of you coming and asking, what's, what's the problem? Got you, OK. I think like everything is just perfect right now. We're built a lot alike. By the end of the day, Alonzo showed me that he has taken steps to become a future boyfriend. 
Ladies, welcome back. That. Oh, no tears. <laughs> All good things must come to an end. There ain't no sense in us talking about the misconnections. Mm -hmm. How did the family receive the men? LeBron, he was supposed to beat my mom, but she's a busy, busy lady, so she called and let me know she couldn't make it. You should have called me after that. I know. You make could. a call. I could have showed up <laughs> as your mama. He just wants to, like, claim me a little too soon. So tell me how you getting this information. What kind of vibe was this? To just interactions, you know, um... <sighs> so outside of this process, Laron and I were at this event. Right. It got a little heated, and it's just the way he talks. It's like, I don't want my man to talk like that. I'm gonna just say that. It's not respectful. Just the fact that you can be so angry by talking to other guys. Okay. I can't deal with that. Like, right. that's toxic behavior. You gotta tell me how he's talking. I wanna just, know what he's saying. He curses a lot. Have y'all experienced this? I can vouch <laughs> for what my is uh -huh. It can come off as, like, a little rude. He's assured me that, you know, it's something that he's working on and it won't be an issue, but I know what I can put up with and what I can't. You got a lot of thinking to do, don't you? I do. This journey is about connections. I would hate to make you cut one before getting the clarity that you need. <laughs>